This is a, an in-depth look at the uh, Latif's Firework brochure for 2019. Uh, I know it's late on in the year, I picked this one up late. Uh, when I went to the Black Friday sale recently, so I picked up some good gear. As you can see, there's uh, a lot of different uh, brands that they stock. They're not all of them, to be fair. Um, they do have some of the other, other uh, brands available, uh, but they're the sort of mainstay products. So obviously we've got some that are sort of low end and some are towards the higher medium end. So I mean, Nightstar there, sort of low end really. Brothers towards the high end, Brightstar in the middle, Firework King towards the high end, to be fair, having fired some of their stuff. Ultra, I've not heard good things about them. Uh, Skycrafter, uh, sort of mid to high end. Uh, Esco, a part of Brightstar, I think, so same. Uh, Bulldog, I wouldn't touch personally. And Astra, again, they're sort of to the low end, but they do have some good products. Um, so let's have a little look inside. Um, we've got selection box wise. Zoom in a little bit. There we go. Uh, so Brightstar there, Monster Selection Box. It's buy one, get two free. So for 13 quid there, you're going to get three selection boxes. You can also mix and match, but um, you'd have to find uh, like for like prices. So you get a couple of Roman candles there, small wheel, uh, some very small fountains. Uh, but Bright Star are okay, to be fair, sort of middle of the road items. They've got another box here that's got slightly few more pieces in, slightly bigger fountains for 20 quid, and that's buy one, get one free. So. Tenor a box, not too bad. Looks like you get a single shot effect as well. Um, and then going down, another bright star, so slightly bigger box now. $49.99, buy one, get one free, so you're talking 25 quid, aren't you? For each one, some slightly bigger fountains there, some conic fountains. Uh, the Victoria Falls, that is actually quite a large fountain. Um, I've got a video on my uh, YouTube channel um, for that piece and it's fairly good to be fair um, can't knock it and these are some I think they're sort of like small um, pearl cakes so it's quite a nice selection in there and slightly bigger wheels as well uh, so fairly decent and then what if we go over here uh, Firework King selection I've fired some of their bigger pieces um, and I was quite impressed with them um, not too sure how their selection box is fair to be honest um, but I would imagine they're uh, fairly decent and they look look like a good size there. So again, it's buy one, get one th free for 60 quid, so 30 quid per box, although the rockets look very small on those. So, but it is buy one, get one free, I suppose. Um, we've got another Firework King offering there, Terminator selection box, 80 quid. Again, buy one, get one free. So you're talking 40 quid a box. So you could you could get something else alongside this and you'd have a fairly decent uh, family display, I suppose. Um, I haven't seen any videos of these uh, being used, so I can't really comment on the uh, quality of the items. And then at the bottom here for 100 quid, but it's buy one, get one free again. So you've got a big missile cake down the bottom there, 300 shot missile cake. Uh, some big size um, Roman candles, bigger fountains. Uh, I think these might be um, small shot cakes as well. So, and the rockets are slightly bigger size as well. So, might be all right. Let's have another look over here. So, more selection boxes, selection box city, isn't it? So, more bright star products here. So, again, 100 quid, buy one, get one free. Uh, there's some double ups though in this, isn't there? So there's like two cookie fountains. Um, there's a missile cake. So I suppose it's 50 quid really. So 50 quid I suppose it's not too bad. Um, but things like the missile cakes, I mean they're like 9.99 aren't they? So uh, looks like there's some other medium sized cakes as well in there. So again, not too bad as a selection. Uh, then we've got this ammo box here. Um, again, not find any of these. This is Firework King, I think, by the looks of it. I recognise some of the packaging, but again, there's lots of double ups here. Um, 
so I'm wondering if they're going to be a bit samey really, I don't know whether it's any good. Um, and then we've got the armoury selection box from ESCO, which is part of Bright Star. Again, you know, you've got your missile pack here, 100 quid. Lots of different um, Roman candles, slightly bigger Roman candles and some uh, some cakes. Um, don't know what they're like, how they perform. Uh, but they're obviously designed for the small garden, so they won't be too fantastic. This would be more my thing, I think, personally. Um, container load from Skycrafter. It's, it is 1.4G, so the effects aren't going to be as good as the 1.3G stuff. But uh, Skycrafter, from what I've fired in the past, have been fairly good, to be honest. So it's not on offer. There's no buy one, get one free, but... For 100 quid, you've got some single shots there, you've got a couple of missile cakes, some bigger bigger cakes, Roman candles and some bigger rockets. So fairly decent. And down here, party time. This is from Firework King, so you know it's another 100 quid on top here, but you get a lot more rockets if I zoom in. So yeah, you get, you get a fair selection there. Again, you know, you've got your missile cake at the bottom there, some single shot Roman candles type tubes, some bigger Roman candles. They look quite good on the videos I've seen. Big bursts, they're not your standard pearls that just fly out and don't really have much height to them. They look decent. Got some ball head rockets, so they should be okay. Um, and it says it's 1.3G as well, so yes, it's more expensive, but you're getting a, a more varied selection and the quality should be there. So that's something worth looking into. And then what else we got down here? So back to Esco Fireworks and the Desert Storm. So this is again £199. I would hazard a guess though that it's 1.4G. But I'm not sure. So I might steer clear of that. Um, my personal preference I think would be the Firework King bits. Then on to Rocket Heaven. There's loads of rockets here. Uh, those outrage rockets, buy one get one free. They might, they were an even bigger offer, I think, uh, Black Friday. But they are tiny, they're like bottle rockets. Um, they are tiny, tiny rockets. Obviously you've got um, demon detonators and stargazers from Bright Star. I wouldn't touch them personally, unless you've got a small garden. Um, then maybe consider them. But they're a bit too small for my liking. Again, heat seekers from Skycrafter and these other ones, they're quite small. So you see, it's buy one, get three for free. So they are tiny, they're going to be like bottle rockets. So again, it's not something I would like, but if you've got kids or you want to have a bit of fun, I suppose it's quite good value. Um, and then you've got the Bright Star stuff again, they're not going to set the world on fire, and it's buy one, get one free for that price. So they are small rockets. Um, so there you go, and then these have been around for a few years now. Bright stars, flying pigs, and silly cows. Um, I've never fired them myself, so I can't comment. But um, it might be style over substance, to be honest. They're just there to grab the attention of the kids, um, so it's not really something I would go for. Uh, however, the king rockets there, um, they'll be packed full of powder, uh, probably the. Higher end, or if not on the limit of the NEC, you can get for a rocket. So, um, so the fifteen quid each, uh, nice big burst. So if you are like New Year's, they'd probably be worth uh, worth a shout. Um, you're going to need uh, some room to see the burst because they will be big. And obviously, you've got Warhawks there and Skyhawks. Uh, Warhawks, I think they're great, and that price. I can just move them so it's buy one get two free so it's 10 quid a pack of for warhawks you won't get it cheaper i don't think anywhere else some of the cheapest prices i've seen uh, skyhawks next door there again 10 quid a pack uh, i think they came down slightly more than that in black friday i want to say i picked them up for eight quid on black friday so again you can't go wrong with these types of rockets this sort of design the hawk sort of series as they are everyone's got a hawk variation nowadays um i'd say they're very good um you can't really go wrong again for new year they'd be ideal 
Uh, and then you've got slightly smaller ones there, the Sky Wars, just buy one, get two free. Uh, but you get more rockets, but the uh, the bursts aren't going to be as big. And I don't know if they're 1.4 or 1.3G. Um, so my personal preference would be stay with those, really. And uh, what else have we got up here? Got Skyhawk 2, so they're double bursts. They'll be similar to sort of Mercury Rising by... Um, Bright, was it Bright Star or... Anyway, um, I've tried double bursts before and they're okay. Um, my daughter likes the double burst rockets. And that's her preference and I've got a pack of those uh, this year in the Black Friday sale. And it's buy one, get two free. So just slightly over a tenner, aren't they each? Um, I think, again, they came down in Black Friday, but I can't remember how much I paid now. Um, so they'd be something worth uh, looking into. And you've got Thunderhawks here. Um, I've not come across them before. They're night star fireworks, so they'll be budget range. But they they look like they're going to contain quite a decent amount of NEC, so they might be worth a shout. And then you've got that Sky Attack Barrage in the middle there from Firework King. Um, so you're going to get small, medium and large. And it seems a decent price to me. So Moving on, Manic Attack. I hear good things about those. Massive rockets. Uh, buy one, get one free. Um, they're going to be, the, again, Max and NEC. So they're the kind of things you probably want for New Year. And then in the middle there we've got Thunderhawk 2 from Nightstar. Again, I don't know how good they're going to be, but they're sort of Warhawk, Warhawk size rockets, so they should be all right. And then Warhawk 2s, they're double bursts. Uh, not tried those, uh, but don't forget with them being double burst, you're not going to get as big a burst as you are with um, a similar rocket with just one burst, obviously. Destroyers from Firework King, I use those, was it last New Year or the New Year before? Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal rockets they are. Huge bursts, good effects. Um, some of the best rockets on the market, I would say. Um, and again, buy one, get one free. So not too bad. You're looking 25 quid a pop there, aren't you? I have seen them cheaper. Um, they, they, the price, price does fluctuate on those. Uh, rocking robots, again, can't comment on those, but they're going to be high-end NEC. Uh, and your Hellraisers, there will be more for the smaller garden. Uh, oh, we've got this little, little King selection box here from Brothers. Uh, so for a ton, well, 50 quid, aren't they? Uh, but it's buy one, get one free, so that's a good price, really, for that set of four. Uh, they're going to be good. Uh, as will those ones, Metal Warriors, Skycrafter. Uh, it says they're caged, so are they going to be 1.4G? Potentially, I don't know. Uh, and Devastation, they're supposed to be good as well. So these are all sort of contenders for New Year fireworks, really. Some good rockets there. Then we're on to the smaller barrages here. So standard missile cakes. Once you've seen one, you've seen them all, really. Uh, 7.99, buy one, get one free. So... They normally do retail for sort of a fiver, so for that price to get one extra is a, a good deal. Uh, Bright Star's there. I thought that was just going to be a crackling cake, but it's not. It's actually got bursts. So 19 shot cake for, well, it's going to be a fiver, isn't it? Because it's buy one, get one free. I would say that's good value. Um, and then got the Mighty Atoms, which they're going to be much of a muchness, to be honest. Um if you've got the smaller garden, they're okay, but in a bigger garden, they get lost. That's a really good price, really good product. Angel Dust from Brothers. Um, I've got two of those in my inventory. I uh, got those on Black Friday, but they weren't on offer. That, that was the price. Buy one, get one free for Angel Dust. So that was good. Um, ideal for the start of a display as well. Uh, Ninja's Time, they've been on for a good few years now. Again, they're just run-of-the-mill sort of cakes. And then I can't comment on the Bulldog ones next door. Those uh, four cakes there. I don't hear anything good about Bulldog fireworks from the people that I speak to. Um, so I probably wouldn't touch them, to be honest. But I haven't seen any videos of those, so I can't really comment too much. Then this series here. 
the Skycraft of small cakes there. Buy one, get two free. So you basically 10 quid and you get, you get one of each. Uh, the only one I've used out of those is Button Moon. And to be fair for the price, it's a decent enough cake, but you're going to want to fire these in multiples really to get a, a decent effect out of them. But for that price, it's very good. And then below here, we've got what we've got. Atom Bombs. Considering it's buy one get one free, that is a very good price. Um, I have got a pack before once for ten quid, so to get two for fifteen quid is uh, is good value really. They're all right. Um, I've gone off these now. These were sort of more in my earlier years when I didn't really know much about fireworks and just, just bought them because they were called atom bombs. But they're twin burst uh, shot tubes. They're fairly decent, quite loud. Um, and decent enough burst, but I'm not going to set the world on fire. And then we've got these two here. So you could buy one, get one free. Monkey Mayhem, Wolf in Sheep's Clothing. Uh, can't comment on those really. Don't know um, how good they are, but I think they're both 1.4G effects. But they'll be all right. They'll be all right. That's good, good price. Uh, and then we've got Star Lord from Astra. I personally wouldn't touch that. Double Barreled Shotgun looks a good video. For the Skycrafter one there, and Tutti Fruity, I can't comment on, but yeah, double barrel shotgun was something that uh, I had my eye on. That looked all right. And then we've got the three pack there from uh, Bright Star. Can't really comment on those. Don't know, but they're just going to be run of the mill. Mad Hatter. I have seen the video for that, but I forget what it does. Um, but might be worth considering because. Those cakes from uh, Firework King do seem quite punchy. Uh, and then the bullet, I wouldn't even bother with that one. Night Star Fireworks, I'm a bit of a firework snob. Uh, Proton Bomb Extreme from Elite, that is a good piece. Um, really, I think they're quite a big bore size. Um, you're going to want to fire them in, in doubles really. So buy one, get one free, light them both at the same time with a few meters in between them. But they're not going to look out of place at a pro display, to be honest. They're nice big bursts, nice and loud. Um, and so 10 quid each, that's about where you, what you should be paying for them, to be honest. Um, you, you wouldn't pay £19 just for one, no way. Um, you, you'd be wanting to get two for that price, so that's spot on. Uh, Nightcrawler and Bubble Mania, Skycrafter, you know, they are mid mid sort of range cakes they're going to be absolutely fine don't know what they do i've not seen the videos for them but they should be absolutely fine same for sonic boom there astral force mm, not too sure on that one i'd probably give that one a miss personally and then you've got overdrive buy one get one free looks a decent size uh, there's plenty of plenty of choice here that's for sure uh, what have we got there? Royal Splendor. Again, buy one, get one free, so that should be good. Bin lid cakes. I think they're a bit of a Marmite firework, bin lid cakes. I've fired plenty in my time. Not my cup of tea at all. Um, tried small ones, big ones, medium-sized ones. Um, it's just, just not my cup of tea, but if you've got a small garden, they might be worth considering, but... Me being a bit of a snob, I wouldn't touch. Ballistic, that got my attention. The video looks great for this. Um, and I've got one in my inventory um, to use next year. So Ballistic, it's worth looking into. Another bin lid cake there. Ion Storm and... What's that one? Screaming Ion Storm. <laughs> um, so obviously that's going to have some noise to it. Um... Nothing to say about them, really. <laughs> Same with that one. Uh, and then Thunderbolt and Lion King. Thunderbolt's quite noisy, as it suggests. Um, not bad price, really. Two for 15 quid. That would be worth a shout. Uh, Lion King, can't comment, don't know what that does. Uh, Swords of Fire and Night Sky Storm, again, I don't know what their performance is like. Uh, and this set of three here from Firework King is probably worth uh, a gamble on. Uh, their stuff seems alright. 
Uh, what have we got over here? Bullseye. That looks good. And for the price, so 50 shots. Buy one, get one free. 15 quid a piece. Put two of those together. You're not going to be uh, not going to be disappointed, really. Uh, don't know about chain reaction, but I would imagine that will hold its own as well. And if you're getting two together, you fire them together. You're not going to go wrong, really. Yeah, same with Rise of Glory. Because uh, we're getting into the sort of medium-sized cakes now, so they are starting to seem a bit more appealing. Moon and Stars, again, bin lid cakes. Not my cup of tea, but um, for the price, I suppose they're all right, because they've got 200 shots, but they will be small bore, and you'll probably get lots of comets and pearls and they won't really that's my problem with bin lid cakes is that they're so erratic you know you'll get two go off together four go off together and then a gap and it's just a bit too hit and miss for my liking uh warrior from firework king 100 shots again buy one get one free so 200 shots for 15 quid each it's all right 200 shots for sorry 30 quid yeah be all right side by side uh, and then Firecrest, Lucifer's last of these have all been out for a good, good few years now. Just sort of middle of the road items. Same with Area 51. If I remember rightly though, it's quite fast firing, so I might give that one a miss personally. Uh, again, Devil's Disciples. New, these two are new actually here. New World and Surprise. I've not seen them before, so they must be new for this year. I've um, not seen the videos, but they look a decent size for the money, so 50 shots each. Might be worth uh, a punt. Let's have a look up here. What have we got? Rip and Roaring, they've been out for a few years now. That looks like a good price to me. Uh, Fireworks Crazy Mini. Let's buy one, get one free for 40 quid. That's a very good price. Won't be many retailers selling it for that amount, so that's good value. Fallout, can't comment on. Radiation Outbreak. The strange thing about um, Firework King is some of their videos are not the right videos. I've seen two videos for this. I've seen one on their website where it looks like it's uh, a horsetail effect, very rapid firing. Uh, I've also seen footage of someone that's fired it themselves and it's got nice breaks and some strobes in there and all sorts. Um, I have not got a clue what's going on there. But when I was uh, down at Latif's, they had plenty of those in stock and it might be because they've got the wrong video on the website and people don't want to touch it. So that needs sorting out really. Uh, but the video I saw of it being fired in the UK did look good. So uh, just the price there. It's not buy one, get one free either, is it? So mm. uh, I think it's on offer now though. Uh, Deception from Skycraft, that's going to be okay, but just remember, you know, it's fanned, so duration-wise it's not going to be great, but uh, it will fill the sky. Uh, seismic Strike, that's been out a good few years, I think, from Bright Star, you got Ultra 1 next to it. I, I just would avoid Ultra, I just I don't know enough about them, but I think a few people there in the Birmingham area I know have fired them and they weren't too impressed, so... And then that seems like a new one, Voodoo. Um, and I don't know what it does, how it performs. Um, so I can't comment on that one, but it does look interesting. Interesting shape. Um, what else we got? Hercules Mini, 50 quid, buy one, get one free. So it's 25 quid each. That's probably where it should be, to be fair. So yeah, it's a decent price. Air collision from Astra, no idea, but it's going to be 1.4 G effects. So, um, you know, they're on par with sort of like stuff you'd get from Asda, those kind of things really. And Neutron Force, I've not seen the video for that from Nightstar, but it seems a bit of a, a bigger version. But my only thing would be check the NEC on these just to see if they are value for money or not. And then what else? we got Boombastic. Seen the vids for this, seen lots of different vids for it. Fantastic looking firework. Um, so what's that, 60 quid. Buy one, get one free, so 30 quid. Mm. I have a feeling I've seen it cheaper elsewhere, but it won't be far off. 
the cheapest price I've seen so not too bad explosive I'm sure that was as part of a set of three last year I might be wrong and I think again that's probably gone up by about a fiver uh, Big Ben Countdown that's been out a few years now you can get those in the range and stuff but I'd imagine at that price they're probably very competitive oh yeah there you go so explosive doomsday yeah I think they've gone up in price hijacker um, so 60 quid buy one get one free I'm pretty sure I picked that up at Black Friday for 25 quid which is an absolute steal and to be honest, even at that price, if it's buy one, get one free, most normal retailers will charge you that price for one. So that's a no-brainer. And it's a very nice, uh, interesting effect. So I've not fired it yet. Uh, it's in my inventory. Uh, but it will be fired. And um, it's got a sort of angel dust sort of start. So you've got um, quite large... Uh, showers of uh, sort of sparks but they're the fan effect uh, and then it goes into some nice aerial stuff with some nice um, fan effect uh, breaks as well so worth looking at definitely good value that uh, would be fine for this new year uh, fierce no idea can't comment on that one uh, but brothers are okay um, and you've got Bright Star here, Raging Spiders. I think that's a bit fast firing, but it is interesting. Obviously, you've got shot tubes coming out all over the place, really. So it is a bit uh, a bit punchy, a bit erratic. Uh, but for that price, I wouldn't be, even if it's buy one, get one free, and it's not my cup of tea. Uh, Swat and Tower Inferno, again, can't comment, really. Don't know what they're like. Moonshine, fairly decent. 80 quid, so 40 quid each if you bought a pair. Not too bad, but that wasn't on, it's not one that caught my attention out of the Firework King things. Again, another bin lid cake, not going to say anything else. Um, and Bright Star Connoisseur, so I'm wondering if that's a 1.3G cake from Bright Star, maybe, if they put this improved sort of premium style label on it. Who knows? Not seen the video, so I can't comment. Uh, what else we got up here? I think I'm at the middle pages now, so I'll just keep going actually. We can pause it and come back to it. Uh, so these three here, Death Wish, Mr. Big Shot and Blitz, both, well, all three are very good cakes. Uh, Blitz has been on my wish list for a long time. Um, so I might come get round to getting out this year. They have gone up on, on last year's prices though. That's one thing I did notice, but they're still good value. Still good value. Worth looking into. That's I think that's new for this year. Rock you uh, from uh, Brothers. Warpath again and The Rival. I think they might be new as well. Well, certainly The Rival seems, seems like it's got new graphics on it. So, again, can't comment, but they're going to be all right. Certainly be all right in uh, in a bigger garden. Fireworks crazy. Um, now, a few years ago, I got buy one, get one free for... Hmm, what price was it? I think oh, it was probably about the same price. So if that's uh, 80 quid, yeah, 40 quid a pop. Very good firework. Recommend that one. Uh, can't comment on those. Never seen them, but Nightstar, not a brand that I would particularly go for. Uh, Equalizer, very good looking firework. Again, that would be one I'd consider getting in the future. I think the price has gone up slightly, um, but still a good firework. Same for these ones, so Big, big Bad Boom and Razzle Dazzle. Razzle Dazzle's one I've had my eye on, um, so that looks good. Um, and Firework King, they do seem like a, a decent brand. Uh, Satanic Desecration, not something that's... Uh, Caught my attention. Ah, these two here. Worth looking into. They look big, don't they, on the photos. In real life, they are very small. Um, but they're buy, buy one, get one free. Um, and they're about two minutes duration, both of them. So, for 100 quid. If it's buy one, get one free, you could get one of each, couldn't you? And um, even if you've got a smallish garden, because I think the ball size is quite small. 
one of my videos about neighborhood action is i think it's dare to scare but if i it's one of these two anyway um that my neighbor fired in their garden and it did look good um so for the price i would say that's good value and then what have we got here colossus stormageddon countdown finale these have been out for a while certainly countdown finale has colossus i fired many years ago uh in my back garden when i was first getting into fireworks um it's a decent piece it's buy one get one free so it's 50 quid i mean i must have bought it maybe five six years ago but um the price obviously inflation things go up so it's still a fairly decent price um i'm pretty sure it's 1.4 gfx though so um in a smaller garden it'd be absolutely fine uh, you've got goliath t-rex atom smasher again i can't comment on any of those goliath's been out a long time t-rex looks like a new item um, but they buy one get one free so really two goliaths for 100 quid i'd say that's good value uh real steel as well two for 50 yeah two for 100 quid very good uh, and those two are this new connoisseur label that bright star have put on um, so i'm hoping they'd be 1.3 g but i really don't know uh, what else have we got here now air boss it didn't didn't look good on the videos i've seen personally it's very old at the firework that hercules limited edition two for hundred quid that's good um i'm sure i've seen some retails sell one for more than a hundred quid so very good value omg and Hercules, I mean, these are staple, really, fireworks. Uh, I had a few. I'd, I got this deal, buy one, get one free, a good few years ago now. Um, and it's a fairly decent piece. Um, having, I mean, it's a fan defect firework. It's good for a finale. Um, it'll be in one of my shows that I've got. Um, I, haven't, I haven't got a single video of it, though, unfortunately. Um, it's all right. It's all right. There's a... You know, you've got a medium-sized garden as a finale. It'd be very good. You couldn't put two together. It'd be a bit too much. So you'd probably have to go, you know, for OMG and Hercules. Uh, then what if we got Beat Thy Neighbour? That seems like a good price to me. That's normally about 100 quid. So, yeah, that'd be worth looking into. As would these, I would imagine, here. Both compound fireworks. Um... So like three fireworks in one should be uh, should be all right. Uh, Redemption, mm, it's just all right. It's not going to set the world on fire, but that's a good price. Undertaker, uh, if they've still got this in stock, I'm not sure they have. Um, I have my eye on that. That looks a really nice piece. Uh, Vendetta again, similar. Uh, good duration for that price. Absolute bargain they are, I, I think, personally bargains as is this um i don't know of any other retailer that will hit this price for this firework unless you do some serious haggling um that's fantastic fantastic um offer the only downside is that it's not a compound firework it's as it says set of four so you have to light them all individually or try and fuse them up yourself but um I'll do that if you know what you're doing. But very good firework, and that is a fantastic price. So well done to Latifs on that one. Uh, Bulldog, can't comment on those, to be honest. Um, but look at that, two two fireworks there. Yes, the 1.3G effects. 78 shots versus 50 shots each. No-brainer, isn't it? No-brainer. You go with that one. Okay, uh, boom, boom. I have seen that cheaper elsewhere, uh, but, oh, hang on, no. It's buy one, get one free. So I've got to do some quick maths there. That's a good price. Um, yeah. Um, if you had those, if you fired all those at once, Jesus. Um, you're going you're gonna to have a crater in your garden. That's fantastic. Uh, great firework. Good videos I've seen. Uh, Godfather again. It's not buy one, get one free, though. Um, and it's the same price, though, as that, isn't it? I think I'd go with that, personally. But 
Um, it's going to be all right. It's going to be absolutely fine. Uh, powerhouse. Is that a fireworking one? I'd have to have a look at that. I don't know what the NEC and bore size is, so there's a question mark on that one. I don't know. It's not one that I've seen a video of either, so not sure. Shock and awe again. Don't know. Uh, buy one, get one free though. 145 quid, 149 quid, so not too bad. Uh, Revenant and Newcomb. I think they're quite big, actually. I think they're more sort of this sort of size-ish. Uh, compounds, again, they're going to be all right. Um, they've not caught my eye, though, because it was the Undertaker that caught my eye. But it's personal preference. They all do different things, so... If you want variation, some people like brocade, some people don't. Some people like comets, some people don't. Uh, Desperado again, that's you're not going to go far wrong. And if it's buy one, get one free, that's a bit of a steal, really, at that price. Uh, Grave Shaker there, 149 quid. I have seen it cheaper um, in a couple of places, but if you haggle with them and you can find it cheaper, I think they'll match the price anyway. So. I wouldn't worry about it, but still, even at that price, it's fairly decent. Uh, Battlemaster, don't know enough about, unfortunately. Same with Primeval. Uh, and they both might be new for this year, not sure. Spellbound, not sure. Grand Slam, fairly decent price, but as we've just sort of mentioned, you know, you can get... Um, what was it, Big Bad Boss, was it? Um, uh, where were we? Sorry, I had to do a cheeky pause there. Uh, Run for Your Life compound. Uh, I don't know, price-wise, might be able to knock a few pounds off that, but that is a fantastic piece. If I'm not mistaken, Run for Your Life is very similar to... Oh, God. It's a... The Hallmark piece that I did have um, is pretty much the same same product, so um, enough said, really, quality piece. Uh, Beast of Beijing, um, can't comment on. It's a bit of an odd shaped cake though, isn't it? Um, don't know if it, if it's 1.3G, it's probably worth it. If it's 1.4G, it's not. Uh, Fire and Fury, Apocalypse, not too sure on those two. Can't comment on them, Elite. It's not a brand I really follow. Uh, Zenith Compound. Uh, it's a beast of a cake. 199 quid for one piece, though. Mm. I have seen it for a lot more. I've seen it well into the 200s. So um, if you just want something for the new year that you light and forget about, then that's a display in one. Um, and it's a good price. Uh, what else we got here? We've got barrage packs. I have looked at these. They are tempting. I like things like this. So Django and the Mob. And I do. I think people that I've uh, spoke to that have fired them say they're all right. Um, I think they're one point four G though. But um, at those prices, buy one get one free. So good prices really. Uh, the thing that worries me about this pack here is. You've got the same product, repeated, repeated, repeated. Um, so for the price, you wouldn't want to get two. Um, you'd have to get something else alongside it. Um, and what worries me about this is um, the packaging or the box looks very similar to um, Spook Fireworks' sort of design. And I wonder if that's just a rebadge Spook box. So I was a big question mark over that one. Uh, battle tank again, hundred quid. So it's fifty quid. So I suppose for fifty quid for all those, it's not too bad. But you wouldn't want to buy two. And then heist, slightly higher end. It's not on offer though. It's not a buy one get one free. So, but a decent selection nonetheless. And then supernova there. Again, repeated items, not something I would go for, but if it's two for 50 quid, I suppose it's not bad. Sorry, two for 100 quid, 50 quid each. Mm, not sure about that one. And then what have we got here? 
supremacy 150 quid not too bad I personally mix and match some other items I think but um, it'll be fairly decent uh, you light up eye sort of fountains so alien and funky frog the eyes light up kids like those kind of things if you're gonna get buy one get one free you could get one of each couldn't you for 13 quid I would say that's a decent price uh, and probably cheaper than the range where they also sell them so good um, Tinseltown I think that's a new one Brothers Fountains are always fairly decent the star of the show has got to be this though so you can get that for a tenner because it's buy one get one free that is I highly recommend that I've fired that before I've got one left over as well which I'll use this year uh, a bonfire night fantastic piece um, for ten pounds can't go wrong it's not um, it's not the most sort of colourful of fireworks but it spins it's a spinning firework so very good as is that one there hurricane so you could get one of each couldn't you um, and again spinning fountain will go round and round so something a bit different so there's two definitely worth looking at Ocean of Lights, it's a Veco piece. It looks like Veco had a lot of these sort of left over before they left the UK market. But I love Veco. Um, and I would imagine that's no different. It's gonna be a nice piece, so be worth looking into, especially at 10 quid. It's quite a big fountain. If you see it in the flesh, it is it's got some size to it, but sometimes size can be deceptive, we all know about that. But Veco, nice German brand, I do like them. Uh, Roman candles and single shots so these are all fairly good prices to be honest you can't knock them at these prices I mean then you know they're not going to be fantastic but um, for the amount of fun um, worth looking into to be honest same with these you know they're uh, ideal for the smaller garden plenty of fun to be had the bigger ones there silver sky no no idea what that uh, what that does to be honest but it's ultra just a question mark by those brands super shooters they're supposed to be all right buy one get one free yeah they'll be punchy you can get those in those um sort of all-in-one packs as well so it gives you an idea as to how much they are if you're looking at Pricing up those other packs, sparklers. Um, I'm yet to find a coloured sparkler that's um, properly colourful, to be honest. They never seem to be that vibrant. <laughs> they are good fun. I don't know how they're allowed to be sold in this country, to be honest, because they've got to come under the category nuisance fireworks. I have no idea how they're allowed to be sold but they're good fun they're very loud you just throw them on the floor and they explode um, so they are very much like the French firecrackers that if you've ever seen them or ever as a, when I was a kid and I was on holiday in France they've got like a little fuse on the end they're exactly the same they've just not got a fuse on so great fun uh, Razzmatazz wheels can be all right for that price really better than the little ones you get in um, selection boxes so yeah fairly good a couple of mines there bomb factory they're just going to be a bit fizzy they're not going to be massive uh, massive burst but a bit of fun if you've got a smaller garden uh, and that's it so they do delivery as well but I think that's only to the Birmingham area so I wouldn't qualify for that unless you pay a fee um, and that's it that is their brochure for 2019 so um, I'm putting this video up um, New Year's so um, if you I hope you do have a good New Year or you have had a good New Year uh, wish you all the best for 2020 thanks for watching that was the Latif's brochure 2019